our profession and to your communities. Um, Ms. Chung, I was particularly interested to read about your work on hate crimes and the first prosecution, I think the first in the country under the Shepard Byrd Hate Crime Prevention Act. Senator Hirono and I have worked together with Senator Moran on expanding the protections against hate crimes in the Jabara Hire No Hate Act, which was passed last spring. So there's a lot of interest in this committee in that area of law. I wonder if you could tell us perhaps some of the lessons, some of the insights that you've gained as a result of your work in this area that might be useful to us as we move forward. Uh, thank you, Senator. Uh, I think uh, one of the things that I was perhaps uh, or was saddened to learn was when I first joined uh, the Civil Rights Division criminal section um, in the late 2000s, in 2009, I, I did not know that people still burnt crosses in people's yards and, and tried to drive them from their homes. Uh, so that was stunning for me to learn in 2009 that that was still happening. Uh, and certainly my continued work in this realm uh, has been um, informative in that, you know, unfortunately uh, we see now when I started, they were sort of um, individual actors doing maybe a one-off cross burning or shooting. And sadly now we are seeing uh, mass shootings um, more frequently. Uh, but, you know, I've also seen a, a reason to hope, and, and uh, e even in the communities where these have happened, I would say that they, uh, the communities find them repugnant and that they are not beliefs shared by the vast majority of Americans. One of the lessons, I think, of a couple of cases, one of them in Connecticut, is that sometimes more effective than imprisonment or even or fines has been the requirement that the perpetrator, the defendant, the convicted individual be compelled to do community service in working with the group that he or she targeted. Have you observed that kind of community service being a, a form of punishment that not only deters, but also educates. Uh, Senator, I have not had a vast experience in that realm, so I, I probably can't give a very informed opinion on it, but certainly I know that uh, there are victims who have asked for a restorative justice aspect in, in that vein. What do you think is the most effective deterrent to violent extremism? Oh, that's a, that is a, a very big and weighty question, Senator. Uh, I, I don't think there are any easy answers, uh, but I think certainly uh, a, a greater um, civility amongst us cannot help. I mean, cannot hurt. Uh, thank you for your answers. It's a big and weighty question, and uh, I hope that you'll provide more of your insights, whether it's when you reach the bench or otherwise, and I'm going to be very proud to support both of you. Thank you for your service. Thanks, Mr. Chairman. Thanks, Senator Blumenthal. Senator Cruz. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Welcome to both of the nominees. Uh, Justice Montgomery, uh, you served as a co-chair of the Delaware